In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the camera effect from Paranormal Activity. So once we have our footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to go into effects and search for levels. So inside of levels, you just want to go ahead and you want to increase the top two settings. So we'll pull the top button up to 40 and then we'll drop the second one down to around 200. And then we're gonna search for tint. Throw tint on top of the footage and in the matte black two section, we're gonna make that a dark blue. And in the matte white two, we're gonna change that to a light blue. And we'll press okay on that. And we're just gonna pull the amount of tint down to around 40%. Now we're gonna go back to levels, throw another set of levels on top of this. And in this section, we're gonna to go to the white input level in the blues. We're just gonna pull this up and we're just gonna increase the blue in this shot one more time. Once you're happy with the levels, we want to go ahead and we want to add some digital noise to the shot. So we're gonna search for noise. We'll uncheck the color noise section and we'll pull this up to 10%. That looks awesome. And to the next stage of this effect, we're going to search for the three-way color corrector. We'll drop the three-way color corrector on top of everything and we're going to pull the midtones towards a bluish green color tone. We'll pull the shadows towards the blue. And then we'll pull the highlights. If you see, there's this spotlight in the bottom left corner. Just this section here, we're going to pull this back down to blue just to really sell this effect. Now this effect is really starting to get there, but I do feel like this is a bit too saturated. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for fast color corrector. We'll drop fast color corrector on top of everything and we'll pull this down to around 50%. And that's just going to decrease the amount of blue within the shot. Now, whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to add a little bit more camera noise to this shot. So I'm going to go into noise and pull this up from 10 up to 20%. And if we play this back, that is starting to look really awesome and really creepy. But we are missing the time in the bottom right corner. So we'll go into our project bin. We'll create a brand new black video and we'll throw that black video on top of the footage. Extend that out and then we're gonna go into the effects tab and we're going to search for time. Throw the time code effect on top of the black video and we're going to go into the position of this time code and we're going to pull this across to the bottom right corner. Now you want to go through all of these settings very carefully and find a time that works best for you. Now you want to go ahead and you want to uncheck the field symbol and then we'll go into effects and we'll search for crop. We will throw crop on top of the black video and then we'll go into crop and we're just going to increase the crop on the right to get rid of those random last two digits. And now from here, we just need to create the AM. So we'll go and create a brand new legacy title. Type AM, and we'll just reposition this down towards the bottom right corner. This doesn't have to be perfect. This can be very rough for now because we'll make the fine tune adjustments on the timeline. So exit this window, drag the title on top of everything. And then in the motion tab, you want to adjust the scale and the position to make sure that this AM sits very comfortably next to the time. And there you go, once that AM is sitting in position, that is the paranormal activity camera effect now complete. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you tomorrow for more really creepy, creepy elements. See you there.